Would you vote to elect a robot president? You know, a lot of people don't really like the idea of putting a machine in charge of national welfare. Words like Skynet and Matrix seem to pop up. But an emerging field of research called machine ethics could make sure that that evil robot overlord scenario never comes to pass. Now, the science fiction author Isaac Asimov envisioned a world where intelligent machines followed his famous three laws of robotics, which boil down to don't harm humans, obey human commands, and don't self-destruct. But most modern researchers are now looking at ways to synthesize human behavioral ethics. Like Susan and Michael Anderson, they are actually working to teach a programmable robot how to make independently determined ethical decisions. It is time to take your medication. Now, the potential for this is enormous. Machines like these could be the most humane leaders we have ever known. Think about it. They have no inherent hatred or prejudice. They have no ego. There's no greed. There's no corruption. They just do what they're programmed to do. So let's assume robot president number one has a pretty simple command. Do the most benefit for the largest number of people causing the least amount of harm possible. But how does it know how its top level decisions are going to affect society as a whole? Well, maybe it will learn. Back in 2009, Cornell researchers built a computer program that figured out basic laws of physics, like the conservation of momentum, just by observing a swinging pendulum or an oscillator on a spring. I mean, it was a digital Isaac Newton. So what if we took that a step further? I'm talking about daily closings of the stock market, unemployment rates, crime statistics, public opinion polls. Human leaders try to determine what the relationship is between their actions and all of this stuff. But here's a little secret. We're not so good at handling lots of different variables, particularly in a system as complex as a society. But computers? They're able to take in unbelievable amounts of raw data and analyze it to understand the underlying rules and even simulate these complex interactions. So, what's stopping us from creating a society simulator that can look at past and present decisions and use that information to project out possible outcomes of future decisions? Well, let's not get too utopian about all this. I mean, even Isaac Asimov foresaw some problems when different laws of robotics would come into conflict with one another. So while a robot might not choose to do evil all on its own, you could potentially program it to rule unfairly. So perhaps the best approach is a two-stage framework for creating friendly AI, where humans aren't the ones responsible for designing the superintelligence that will one day lead us. Instead, we'll build a stage one artificial intelligence. Its job is to study humanity, and then it turns around and designs the superintelligence that will actually govern us. So would that work? We don't know. And that fact alone means that we should be pretty careful about all this. But here's a simple fact. Computers are already making decisions that impact our lives. So don't you want to have some sort of say in their programming? So that leads me to a question for this week, which is if you were designing a superhuman intelligence to govern all of us, what fail-safes would you put in place to protect us from harm? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and hit subscribe and share it with your friends. And after you've done that, check out these videos over here.